Ember is the first robot that can burrow its own body underground using compliant legs. A lot of times, robots that are able to burrow underground use rigid elements, like rigid fins or uh, potentially like drilling mechanisms. But to be able to do this with a soft set of legs is very unique. Real mole crabs have these legs that sort of feather out as they sweep through the granular media. And in a similar way, we use fabrics in order to create a feathering mechanism to emulate this type of behavior. When we first started doing this work, we would actually go out to Ocean Beach with Tupperware containers to collect mole crabs, and that was the way that we would get them to do our data analysis. So we've got robots in space, we've got robots in the ocean, we have very, very few robots that are actually navigating underground. And I think one of the reasons is that the forces are just so much greater. You know, if you take a body and you move it through granular media, it's going to want to come out of the ground. And so it's going to be really hard to get something to actually move its way down. This work is actually funded in part by NASA. It would be very difficult to take a large excavator to the moon, let's say. By making these smaller, really capable robots, you can start to envision brand new applications. Our first priority is to try to make it dig deeper and making the body smaller, improving our leg design, just generally making it more robust. The reason why we're so interested in legs is because you can create many different behaviors. So you could imagine a legged robot running across the ground and then burrowing. And so one thing we're really interested in is exploring that full breadth of behavior that we can get from legs.